the administration's 50 running scandals. Bush. Number three, he was so bad we had to kill him twice, Gate. As the website LegitGov.org points out, in January 2006, the Pakistani military claimed and the American media happily reported that in an air raid there, the U.S. had killed Midhat Mursi, also known as the Al-Qaeda bomb maker and the man who recruited Richard Reid, the shoe bomber, Abu Kabab al-Masri. From Peshawar, Pakistan, comes the news today that during an air raid by drones in South Wazirazan, the U.S. has killed Midhat Masri. Uh, also known as the Al-Qaeda bomb maker and the man who recruited Richard Reed, the shoe bomber, Abu Kabab al-Masri. Now maybe we had to kill him twice because he used two different names. Number two, Halliburton Gate. This is the ever-escalating story of the Halliburton subsidiary, KBR, electrocuting our troops in Iraq. The House Oversight Committee is conducting hearings. The Pentagon's Inspector General sent a memo to that committee claiming that there is, quote, no credible evidence that KBR or the Defense Department knew in advance about the electrocution risks in the soldier showers. That's a lie. As Committee Chair Henry Wexman pointed out, he produced a work order from July 8, 2007, in which Sergeant Justin Hammer, stationed at the Legion Security Forces Building in Baghdad, reported, pipes have voltage, shocked in shower. Sergeant Hammer survived. The man who next occupied that very same room, Staff Sergeant Ryan Mesa, was electrocuted while showering on January 2nd of this year. That number one, Katrina Gate, or perhaps more accurately, Katrina Revisionist History Gate. The Secretary of Energy, Samuel Bodman, interviewed on Fixed Noise, answered a question that could have been fresh off White House talking points about whether technology has improved dramatically enough that offshore oil drilling now poses no risk to the environment. Bodman answered yes. When we had Katrina and Rita, the two worst hurricanes in at least recent memory in 05, some three years ago, there was not one case where we had a situation with oil or gas being spilled in the environment. Sadly, Mr. Bodman is not telling the truth. The United States Government Minerals Management Service published its offshore damage assessment in May 2006. Rita and Katrina destroyed 113 oil platforms. Rita and Katrina damaged 457 oil pipelines. Rita and Katrina caused 124 offshore oil spills. Rita and Katrina led to total spillage amounting to 743,700 gallons of oil. Rita and Katrina proved that offshore oil drill risks damage to the environment. And Energy Secretary Samuel Bodman proved that he is a cheap liar.